Today we are going to talk about tracing art, everyone's favorite go-to method of drawing when no one else is watching and holding them accountable. Tracing art has undoubtedly caused more drama in the art community than any other form of making art since apparently a lot of artists have taken tracing to new heights and are literally tracing over drawings made by other artists on the internet and using that to grow their own accounts pretending like the drawings were made by them and standing on business in every wrong way possible. I'm here now. Hey how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about everything wrong with tracing art and probably break some controversial opinions and traditional myths or however you want to call it about tracing art and the morality of it. Now correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's safe to assume that the mass majority of artists have all traced at some point in their career both as professional artists and just hobby artists like myself just having fun drawing and exploring their more intimate artistic side. And for the most part, it's also safe to assume that tracing is a valid way of producing drawings. You draw directly over or under an image and you have yourself a hypothetically perfect base for you to start your final drawing with in about a couple of minutes or less. But with how good tracing sounds and how simple it is to make drawings, tracing has somehow found a way to become one of the most controversial and thought-provoking processes of making art, especially nowadays on the internet. So if you're new to this channel and love listening to art commentary style videos or just videos discussing the art community in general, please subscribe to the channel and join the discord server using the link in the description. So let's break down the first myth of tracing. Tracing art helps you get better. A show of hands if tracing has helped you get better at making art. Anybody? No one at all? You see, the concept of tracing art indirectly makes you get better at drawing to me is nothing more than just a concept. Because getting better at drawing and being able to produce what the TikTok art community will consider as good looking art will require you to have a deep understanding of just a few little things about art like anatomy, understanding how to draw using proportions, learning about forms and representing them, a deep knowledge of lighting and tonal values, line weight and edge control, perspective, you know just the regular basic stuff if you decide to go to YouTube art school or fancy $90,000 school of art. Now out of all the things I mentioned, I could only count one if not two of them that tracing might indirectly teach you how to do in the long run if you do it for long enough. This isn't to say that you can't learn about proportions and anatomy by tracing, but personally speaking from experience as a person who has traced on occasion, I benefited a lot more from taking time out to learn how to break down anatomy into simple shapes and then forcing myself to remember the shapes in three-dimensional forms, therefore making it easier for me to draw a figure from different angles and still having it look like it kinda made sense without having to trace over a reference or another person's art. This isn't to say that tracing over a reference photo is bad or you shouldn't do it, but the rewards are greater when you actually understand what it is you're trying to trace and you can also draw good anatomy and understand the figure to an extent and then you can use tracing sparingly only when you need to or you're in a time crunch and you have to beat a deadline. But then again there are also exceptions for people who are animators and storyboard artists or just people who work in the animation industry as cleanup artists for key animators where tracing is literally a requirement for their job. The next controversial opinion we're going to talk about is tracing is okay as long as you credit the original artist. Now this happens to be one of the most controversial opinions about tracing that always happens to be taken out of context on TikTok and other social media platforms in general. I think properly giving credit to an artist or the owner of a work of art that you have used to trace or in your work is probably used incorrectly in the art community. Because most times some artists copy or trace over another artist's work but then they give credit to Pinterest or Instagram or wherever they found the drawing instead of just searching for the artist's name using Google or something 
discipline and giving the artist proper credit, which really grinds people's teeth in the art community because it just shows a lack of awareness and value for other people's work. Some people hide behind this as a way for them to steal art by tracing over another artist's work and then pretending they had no idea so that makes it okay and so they don't bother crediting the artist at all. Now me personally, I don't think this is okay in any way, shape or form because why would you even bother tracing another artist's finished drawing to start off your own in the first place? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The concept of tracing another artist's work and then posting it online as your own only makes sense to me if you're using that artist's work as a type of study or something like that. Or if you're trying to really learn something specific, which is why you have to rely on tracing the artist's work in the first place. Or if you're just working on a project where you have to trace another artist's work so the style can remain similar across all the images during the duration of that project, which will totally make sense. Another very common word that gets tossed around the art community on TikTok whenever the discourse of tracing comes up is the term heavy referencing, which is when an artist draws another artist's work really closely to the point where the fine details almost match up so people think the drawing was traced, but most of the time the person who made the drawing just literally made a one-for-one -one copy of an artist that inspires them for a study or as inspiration for a new piece. But the problem is some artists take this heavy referencing thing out of context and just literally copy another artist's work and then post it as if it's their own, which always turns out horribly in the art community because most artists don't like people tracing or copying their work, especially if it is a direct copy and doesn't add anything new to the image. Taking inspiration from another artist is fine as long as you are not copying their work directly. If you want to copy their work as a study, by all means do that, but do it in your spare time and don't post it on the internet because the internet will probably not want to accept that you're copying another artist's work for studies and wouldn't want to take your word for it. The next controversial opinion we're going to talk about is tracing art is cheating. Okay, I actually wanted to address this uh, because it's okay to trace. I don't know why in our community it's like so like frowned upon or it's like taboo or whatever. like to trace. I don't know why that's such a problem. Like me, for example, like I I can draw freehand. I, I practiced a lot growing up. So like drawing faces, drawing objects, like what I'm looking at, either from a picture or from like real life, a lot of times I can draw freehand. It's not a problem for me. It just comes with practice. But every now and then, if I'm struggling, uh, like at drawing something, I'll use a couple different methods, either the tracing method or the grid method. For the grid method, I explained it in one of my other tutorials before in my uh, bio, so if you are confused about how that works, you can check that out. It's in my bio, it's under the tutorials playlist. But as far as tracing, yeah, if, I, if I'm struggling and if I don't want to use the grid, the grid method because it takes too long, I'll trace it. There's nothing wrong with it. A lot of like art professors and teachers and also viewers kind of like shame artists into believing that uh, tracing is such a bad thing or is that if you trace that you're not a real artist. But from tracing is just like the sketching part. Like after the sketching, there's so much more involved into making that art piece into a final product, which takes a lot of skill, like artistic skill. So if you trace every now and then, the world's not going to stop. I'm not saying to only trace. It's so good to learn the proper methods, to learn how to sketch properly and uh, getting your proportion right, of like drawing faces and figures and all that. It's so good to learn those methods. But if you trace every now and then, the world is not going to stop. Nobody's going to, it's not going to affect anyone else except for you and how you progress. That's that's all it is. It's fine. I really love how he just explained this so calmly and such a calm soothing demeanor like do i even really need to talk about this anymore i think he did a terrific job just doing this like look at him listen to his voice i mean you guys always tell me i have such a soothing voice on my youtube channel but then like this guy is just something else this is his tiktok account go follow him and i believe he also has a youtube channel as well and he makes really good drawings so please go subscribe to him and send some love his way just tell him you all came from me or something man i, I don't know i don't know i don't know how you guys do it but just go follow him just go follow him man is 
Tracing cheating. I know this one is probably going to stir the pot a lot, but I don't believe tracing is cheating. Well, not exactly. Depending on how you use it, tracing can be a tool and not considered as a cheat, if that makes any sense. What I mean by this is, if you're someone who already knows how to draw and has a good understanding of proportions and anatomy and other fundamentals of art, but for some reason you're finding it difficult to draw something like, I don't know, hands in a weird angle in your drawing, it's fine to take reference photos of your own hands and use that in your drawing and trace over them directly just to save time. I believe a lot of other artists do this as well when trying to draw weapons, cars and other objects that could be tricky to draw by hand or will just require much more preparation and practice if they were to draw it by themselves without tracing. Would you consider this cheating? maybe but i think it serves the purpose of being smart and trying to work smarter and faster instead of just sticking to only what you know and trying to be the most original artist ever who does everything by the book which isn't a bad thing at all in any way by all means do this if you want to i do this too sometimes and i'm not saying it's the right thing to do but like there's this joy and feeling of accomplishment that comes when you've been struggling to draw a pose for a long time or just hands in a way that angle and then you eventually get it without having to trace there's this joy you feel like you've successfully smashed that goal and like you're you're ready to go you're like give me the next challenge i can i can make this happen you just feel good and proud of yourself for some reason i feel like people who refer to this as cheating think that way because they believe you're trying to go the easy route instead of actually learning what it is you're trying to draw which could be the case for younger artists that are starting out and don't have a lot of knowledge about the fundamentals of art and haven't practiced enough to be able to draw an image without relying on tracing what i'll suggest is for you to practice and at least have a firm understanding understanding of most if not all of the fundamentals of art before you even begin to mindlessly use tracing in your work at the slightest opportunity. Challenge yourself to learn the poses and learn how to draw using basic shapes before then relying on tracing to help you out. It will only take much more time but it is far more rewarding and fulfilling when you can make drawings from scratch for yourself. I ran into this post on reddit where the topic of discussion was tracing and what people thought about tracing and this person explained it pretty neatly. Tracing as practice is absolutely fine with me as it helps build muscle memory and get me more comfortable with the pen and the shapes. Tracing a shape of a building or outline I think is fine. I often trace human reference photos for my characters just to get the basic outline and proportions right and then I can manipulate the shapes and position. Then after I add details and my own style you wouldn't even tell the basic figure was traced. It helps me learn and as a result, I am a bit better and more comfortable with freehand drawing a figure, just using a reference image and not tracing. Where it gets questionable, if not downright dishonest, is where you trace every single detail of someone's work and then pass it off as your own. I'm okay with this if you are explicitly clear that it is a tracing of someone's work and you state it is just practice, but completely passing it off as original is just wrong. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only artist who shares a similar opinion because tracing another person's work and claiming it as your own is just not okay and shouldn't be accepted by today's standards. But apparently people on TikTok are using this as a sneaky way of growing a following on TikTok by posting drawings they made by tracing other people's art and pretending it belongs to them. This has happened multiple times on TikTok where a person was tracing another artist's work and using it for multiple viral TikTok videos on their personal account. Other artists became suspicious of the drawings and started calling them out for tracing from smaller artists and making videos where they placed the drawings over different artists in images and they always somehow manage to line up every time. They change it up a little bit every time to make it harder to realize they still constantly trace other artists. The situation stirred up a lot of drama on TikTok and people started creating fake accounts pretending to be the tracer just to bait people and get people mad and eventually the tracer got their account suspended off TikTok. Another artist also got called out for tracing and being a pro shipper but apparently the artist claimed to be heavily referencing the art style from another artist who was a pro shipper. Like I 
I just don't know what even is happening on TikTok, man. They just seem to be doing whatever and getting away with it for the most part. Anyways, the next controversial opinion we're going to talk about is real artists don't trace. Now, this one probably comes from the art purists that believe making art solely means drawing on paper with either a pen or a pencil and totally don't regard digital artists as artists because we draw on a computer screen instead of a sheet of paper or canvas. If a person traces over a reference photo, or something they're struggling with that doesn't mean they're not artists or should be looked down upon because they traced a particular piece of their drawing they're probably struggling with something specific in the drawing and had to use tracing to help them draw it faster would i advise you to do that all the time obviously not but if you're stuck on one specific part of your drawing and are short on time hell trace that hand and get it moving but always come back later on to practice whatever is giving you a tough time in your drawings just so you can understand it and not get stuck in another drawing the video that started this argument on tiktok got a lot of replies with other artists sharing their personal experiences with tracing and how it either helped them get started with making art or helped them improve with something they were struggling with i use tracing to improve my drawing skills. It's a good tool, but claiming the art as your own isn't good. I understand tracing for learning, but whenever we do art in class, my friend gets her photo she wants for it, puts it up to the window and traces it. Seems like your friend has figured out a shortcut to a distinction. I used to trace to learn. I never claimed it as mine though. It really helped and I'm proud of my art now that it isn't traced. Caravaggio traced for basically all of his paintings. He used pinhole cameras with models inside to reflect their images onto his canvas. This is why many of his paintings have figures who are left-handed. Tracing is a really great way to gather a deeper understanding of the thing you are tracing. Just be really careful and never claim someone else's work as your own. But out of all of these comments, I think this one really sums up my entire view on tracing in just one neat take. Tracing is fine for learning and if you post something, give credit where it's due not a problem. Use tracing as a first step in your process. You will never learn proportion and perspective well enough to replicate a figure or animal or something as simple as a still life. You need to learn to draw. That's it. That is literally it. No matter how bad you suck at art and no matter how much you think tracing will help you, you're definitely going to benefit more from actually learning how to draw and learning the fundamentals of art in the long run. The next controversial opinion we're going to talk about is, is tracing right or wrong? I think a lot of artists question the morality behind tracing, especially when it comes to using it for commercial work or commissions and making money off of traced art. I believe there's a fine line when it comes to how you can use tracing in your work and if it is legal to make a profit off of it. I think it's fine to trace over photos of yourself you took for reference or just trace over other elements in your drawing that are not exactly drawn by other people. But when it comes to tracing over photos of other people or models, that's where the tricky part lies. Some models and photographers wouldn't want you tracing over their work while some others are fine with it. It all boils down to their personal preference. But if you really have to trace over a model, I would recommend using models from stock photo sites like these where the photos and poses are specifically made with artists in mind and when you use them, you can always give credit to them for using their work and sleep peacefully knowing no one is going to come after you for stealing their work. Is using tracing like this right or wrong? That is entirely up to you, I guess. I don't have a problem with it. And if you begin to work professionally as an artist, you'll eventually come to the realization that most people who are interested in hiring you really don't care if you trace or not, as long as you deliver good quality art and deliver it on time before the deadline, which is a topic for another day. But for the most part, people are fine with using tracing as a tool in your work and not relying on it entirely as a drawing process. So learn the fundamentals, understand when you need to trace, and remember not to trace over other artists' work and claim it as yours, and always give credit for using models for reference, just to be safe. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you have a controversial opinion about tracing, please leave it in the comments and share the video with a friend who thinks tracing is cheating, and share it to someone who thinks tracing is okay. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new here. With all that being said, I'll see you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye.